Hello everyone, my name is Confident and it's great to have you back. In this video, I'd like to show you how to self-host your app state instances using DigitalOcean. We'll be using the one-click droplet deployment option on DigitalOcean, so let's jump right in. Right here, I am in the DigitalOcean marketplace, as you can see from the URL. And what I want to do here is to search for the AppSmith droplet. So let's type in AppSmith. And there we have the AppSmith droplet. So I'm clicking on that. And this is the info page for the AppSmith droplet. Now, what we want to do is to click on this button to actually create a deployment. But I'd like to add that if you are new to using DigitalOcean, I'll be leaving a link in the description that will give you $25 free credit. So let's get started. I'm going to click on the create droplet. Awesome. Now that this page is loaded, we can go ahead to configure the AppSmith droplet. So I can choose a plan for the CPU. I'm going to be leaving it in the basic plan. And for the SSD options, I'm going to set it to um, regular SSD and choose the $5 plan. Moving on, I can also create a block storage. Block storage are like pen drives that can be shared across your droplet. So I do not want an additional storage. I'll be leaving that out. And then I can select a region where I want these droplets to be deployed to. So I'm going to be selecting the New York region and I'm going to be selecting region 1. Moving on, I can configure a virtual private network for my droplet. I'm going to be leaving this as default. Then I can select additional options. I'm just going to leave all of this as default. Then for the authentication, I can either choose to authenticate by SSH keys or via password. So I'm going to be authenticating via password. And to set this up, I'll need to supply a root password. All right, I have a root password created and I'm just going to paste this in. And there I have my password set up. Now I can specify a name for this droplet. So let's edit this to say my AppSmith. And I can choose to supply tags if I want to. And specify the project I want this droplet to be created under. So I'm just going to leave this also as default. And I'll click on the create button. So let's create this. And we can take a look at this to see the progress as this droplet is being created. Awesome. Now the droplet has been created and we can go ahead to take a look at it. So I'm just going to click on the droplet name, which is my AppSmith. And here where it says the IP address, I'm going to click on copy so that I can access it from the browser. So let's um, open a new tab and visit that IP address. And here you will see we are greeted with the login screen of AppSmith. Uh, since this is a new instance and I would not have an account, I would need to sign up and create a new account. So let's um, supply some email. So this is going to be confident at appsync.com and also some password. And that's it. And now you can go ahead to create an application like you normally would on the AppSmith Cloud instance. So let's create an application. And let's bring in a button widget right here and edit this to say, click me. And when that's done, we can deploy the application like we normally would. And right here, we have the deployed application. So this is how easy it is to self-host your apps with instances in DigitalOcean. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and get subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.